What's up, everybody? Corn Kid here, Ian, if you want to call me that. Uh, what's going on? It's been a long time. Uh, 2015 has been pain in the ass. Uh, lost my grandfather on St. Patrick's Day. That was a pain in the ass. Had to go to Maine. Had to do his funeral, all that stuff. Uh, but so far, I'm being hopeful for Comic-Con. That's the one thing I'm uh, looking forward to. But anyway... Uh, let's get down to it. If you notice something different about me, it's my glasses. I got new glasses, um, and I kind of just crawled out of bed. Uh, had my hair gelled, all that stuff. But, uh, let's get down to reviewing Supergirl, the pilot episode, uh, by CBS. It leaked online, which is total bullshit. They, uh, didn't leak it, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to post the link down below because I don't want to get kicked out or banned from YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Um, first off, there's a tiny cameo, tiny, tiny cameo of uh, Dean Kane and uh, the original um, Lois Lane, Lois, Lois Lane um, in uh, the Supergirl uh, TV series, which was kind of... which in the pilot, which was kind of cool. Um, I didn't like it. I, I thought it was horrible. The The writing was horrible. They shoved in a lot of stuff in 46 minutes. Um, you know, spoilers uh, for those that didn't, uh, that didn't uh, see it. Uh, the first six minutes, the, the six-minute trailer of that UBS, that's basically the entire damn thing uh, in a nutshell. Um, the rest of it is fighting... Um, which we'll call it, um, Allie McBeal being, uh, Devil Wears Prada, you know, she was annoying as heck, I didn't like her, uh, Jimmy Olsen, I'm sorry, James Olsen, because they want to be fucking PC on this shit, um, wasn't that good of a character, he's doing a medium, uh, I guess he's going, he's going to be the medium between, um, uh, Cara, Zora, Cara Zorel, or I'm sorry, Cara, is how she likes to be called, because she reiterates it, Tons of times, uh, not a ton, but probably about four, like three or four times, in uh, the show. Um, she, he's gonna be. He moved out there uh, from um, Metropolis to. Um, oh fuck! See, I, I can't even remember the damn city. The the city's name. It do, it doesn't ring a bell to me. And waffles is tr my cat is trying to bite me. Yeah, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> Silly. But yeah, um, not impressed. It was Devil Wears Prada, uh, not legally blonde, but, uh, oh god, that, sh that Lifetime show that was on, or was it Lifetime? I don't remember. But yeah, wasn't really thrilled about it. I'm not going to be watching the series. Uh, they dropped the ball. The girl's hot. The girl that plays uh, Supergirl, she's hot. She doesn't look like that mommy... Uh, Supergirl that they had in the promos, you know, um, but it was just, to me, it was just a gigantic checklist of what Superman can do. Like, you know, she has her heat vision, they made it blue for some reason in, uh, in this, uh, um, in this series, I don't know why, I guess, I guess her flame is hotter or something than Superman's, you know, the hottest flame burns blue, you know, um, don't know why, but it was just a gigantic checklist. Okay, we have the suit. We have we have. Oh, it's my family's coat of arms. Oh, that was from Man of Steel. Oh, Supergirl saving a plane. That was in Superman Returns. Oh, she takes off her glasses. She does this. Oh, Superman, uh, Christopher Reeves. You know, Superman one through four. Um. Oh God, and then her dorkiness at, at the at the uh, the. Uh, uh, not even the Daily Planet, the Tribune, I think it was called. Um, you know, oh, we got we got to mention that. You know, that, that's that's important. You know, that that's from the movies. You know, people want to remember that. And it was oh god. And the thing that pissed me off the most, she gets spoilers. Um, she gets this thing from her mother, her dead mother, from her sister. She has a sister in the show. Um, it's basically a MacGuffin 
uh, a hologram of her mother saying, oh, you're going to do great things, you know, you're, you're going to be a, a fantastic girl, you know, be the girl that you were born to be. Basically, the crap that, that Jor-El said to Superman, all that bullshit. And as she's looking at it, she says, oh, this looks like Kryptonese writing. Kryptonese? It's Kryptonian, isn't it? Unless they fucking changed it in the new 52 to Kryptonese. Um, I don't think they did, but it, it was just, I'm like, the horror of the show. It, it's Kryptonian, right? All, I'm not a DC fan, but I've seen a couple Supermans and read a couple Superman comics where it says Kryptonian, not Kryptonese. You know, it was, I'm just like, what the fuck? But, you know, it's, it, I, it just didn't go, it just didn't mesh well with me. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Well, I'm not sorry, but waffles get out of here. Uh, it it just didn't do good, do good, uh, do well for me. Um, let me know your thoughts if you saw it. Um, what you expect, all that jazz. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna watch the uh, series. Uh, I'll just stick with Agents of Shield, and I'm gonna get the Flash actually because I heard that's fantastic. Um, and Flash is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite DC characters besides Superman and Batman. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and also uh, go to www.podbean.com slash The Geek Uprising. We do uh, podcasts. Um, link is in the description below <clears throat> for that. Subscribe, all that good stuff. You can look it up on iTunes also, uh, The Geek Uprising. We're going to have a new podcast uh, this week, this weekend. We do it on Sundays uh, with me and uh, Vash Peacemaker, even though he's called Rothgar the Destroyer of Things, and I am called Chicken Little. So check it out. Um, we have about nine episodes up loaded, so we're going to be on our 10th this, uh, this weekend, hopefully. All right. Again, let me know what you thought about the Supergirl trailer, all that stuff. Take care, guys.